Another cool way to use Flash in your Autoplay Media Studio projects is the Flash Splash action. So that's a splash screen of your Flash movie and the Project Startup movie. Let's take a look at them now. We'll look at the Flash Splash action first. So we'll go ahead and double click on our page and from the Add Action button here, so we'll click Add Action, we'll choose the dialog Splash Flash. Okay, let's go ahead and press Next and we're presented with this screen here. We'll surf to one of the Flash files in our gallery. Let's go ahead and choose, how about Indigo Clouds. We'll press OK and in the time area here we'll put 5 for 5 seconds. Allow click to skip will leave to true. That means that your user can click the splash image at any particular time. In this case it's a flash uh, movie, not an image rather. And it'll go ahead and exit that screen. So if they're impatient and they don't want to wait the five seconds, they can click on it. If they don't click on it, it'll automatically exit after five seconds. Let's go ahead and press finish. Then we'll press OK and we'll preview this. As you can see here, the Flash movie comes up and it's playing away there. And after five seconds, it disappeared. Let's go ahead and shut down this application window and we're going to preview it again. This time I'm going to click on it right away. You know, as soon as I clicked on it, it went away. That's because we left the allow click to skip function set to true. Okay, now let's take a look. We'll actually remove this dialog splash flash action. And let's take a look at a alternative to this. We'll go in the project startup movie area here and we'll click on play startup movie. Now we're going to point our startup movie at one of these Swift files. Again, let's use Indigo Clouds. Now in this particular case, this movie's not going to end because the startup movie function um, knows to end a flash file when it detects the fs command quit. In this particular case, the Swift file Indigo Clouds doesn't contain the fs command quit, so it'll play indefinitely or until the user clicks it. But ordinarily, you would just add an fs command to the last frame of your Swift in Flash um, and make sure that the name of that fs command is quit, q-u-i-t, all lowercase, and it'll automatically stop it. Okay, so we've got a couple options here for the window size, the media size, and so forth. Let's go ahead and size the window to the media, so we'll click the radio box next to size to media. Other options here are full screen and custom size, and the media size will leave to 100%. So in other words, it's going to play back the Swift content at its normal size, and it's going to size the splash window to that. Okay, And then in the style area, we're going to leave allow click to skip um, checked, and we won't worry about the title bar title or the border, but you could go ahead and set that here if you like. You could set the background color as well. Okay, let's go ahead and press OK, and we'll preview that by pressing F5. Now, as you can see here, we've got a similar thing to our splash image. This time it goes ahead and plays, and it just sits there until I click it, and then our application starts up. If we had put an FS command, quit, inside that Flash movie, it would have quit on its own. Now, the neat thing about that is that you can time the splash image exactly to the Flash movie. So, basically, let's take a look at the pros and cons of this. If we use the dialog Splash Flash, we basically have to specify the time in here. So, that doesn't provide for any little anomalies within the Flash movie. For example, some Flash movies play back quicker on some people's systems than on others. One nice thing about using the uh, startup movie function is that by inserting the fs command quit inside your flash movie you can actually control the exact moment where the splash image disappears. Okay, I'll show you exactly what I mean by when I say fs command quit. That would mean typing this, like you see here, into your flash movie. And wherever you put this in there, that'll actually stop the startup movie. So if you're creating a, a flash movie for your startup movie, just insert this fs command anywhere that you want that um, splash image or startup movie to stop. Okay, so that's a look at how we can use flash content for splash images and startup movies. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. It can really uh, add some nice impact to your presentations when you have a a really nice flash image uh, set up in the beginning of your presentation or an animation. 
Um, it's a great way to display your logo, obviously, with a little bit of pizzazz and stuff like that. So it's fun to experiment, and uh, I suggest that everybody try this out and see how it works for them. And we'll go on to the next tutorial.